now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning. We're starting out with another winter weather advisory. It's generally north of Highway 60, goes until noon for the southern and central Missouri counties. And in the advisory area, we're probably looking at about an inch of some of that slushy snow again. So this morning, what you need to remember is that snow can create some slick conditions. We are getting some reports of some snow covered roads to the north, especially north of Highway, uh, north of uh, I-44. <laughs> and then we're looking at uh, those conditions where you need to drive a little bit slow. So what to expect this morning? We're starting to get that rain changing to snow from north to south, seeing a little bit of a mix of everything where it's starting to stick, maybe as some slush in Springfield where the road temperatures are still trying to cool. North of I-44 is where things are a little bit more snowy, a little bit more slick, so you need to keep that in mind. Uh, extra care, bridges, overpasses, and sidewalks out there this morning. Wet roads down in Branson, it's 34 degrees, so we're seeing mostly a cold rain, maybe some icing on the bridges and overpasses. It's 32 degrees in Springfield, cold your upper 20s up top to the north where we're seeing things stick a little bit better. So again, this is very similar to what we had last week, a, a mix of a little bit of everything here on that radar. Springfield is seeing a mix of some snow, some sleet, some of that slushy rain, but there is some snow being reported at the airport. They've got a little bit of a dusting down. We've got an inch already down in Appleton City. A lot of the school closings are up in this area, again, where things are sticking a little bit better. A cold rain to the south near Harrison, Jasper, and Mountain home in northern Arkansas. So that storm is to our south and it stays to our south today, tracking eastward. That's going to bring us the rain and snow this morning because what we're finding is is that area of warm air around the system is really short. There's not a lot of it. It's in short supply. We have much more of that cold air filling in uh, the Ozarks from the top with that freezing line riding right across our area, which is why, again, we've got a mix of everything. So hour by hour, we'll have the snow work its way eastward through mid-morning, probably taper off to some flurries as we head through the afternoon. Then we'll have clouds hang tight for that evening commute, things drying up, uh, but the clouds stay with temperatures in the 30s. Cloudy and and upper 20s on the overnight tonight. Cloudy and cold again tomorrow will be dry, but we'll have the clouds and temperatures in the upper 30s. Maybe a dusting of snow down to the state line, but really in that advisory area is where we could accumulate about an inch or so of some of that slushy snow. Again, we're expecting it to maybe be slushy at first on the roads and then maybe stick a little bit better once things cool. The snow tapers to some flurries and exits to the east after about 12 or 1 o'clock today will be dry by the evening commute, but it stays pretty cold and cloudy. The next thing that we're watching is this big dome of high pressure with a very warm and dry pattern that's going to take control right in time for the Super Bowl weekend. Things are going to be really warm both Saturday and Sunday. Sunday especially if you're doing any tailgating parties for the Chiefs. Temperatures in the 50s with sunshine. By kickoff around 530, about when we hit our highs, we're looking at low, uh, highs in the low to middle 60s with sunshine. Should be really nice for Super Bowl Sunday. 26 degrees today, cloudy and cold uh, once the snow exits. 27 overnight, still pretty cloudy and cold. Same thing tomorrow. Temperatures get stuck in the 30s because of that cloud cover, but we will be dry. A couple of clouds still on Friday. Temperatures in the 40s. A warmer sunshine on Saturday. We rebound into the 50s and then touchdown. Temperatures actually running about 20 degrees above average on Super Bowl Sunday. Our next storm can bring us some showers late Monday into Tuesday.